<laughs> How would I like for people to remember me? That's a very good question. Um, I, I, I would love for people to remember me as someone that lo loved to help. You know, that was generous, that was funny, um, that was always try to be himself, you know. Um, but I think someone that really liked to help people is what I really would love for people to remember me by. The funny guy that, that helped me out when I really needed it, you know what I mean? All right, so who's Edison? That's a very, very good question. Um, I mean, if I had to describe myself, I will say I'm someone that's extremely passionate, very stubborn, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but I think I, I'm passionate. Um, I mean, I could probably be more, a bit more passionate in my, in my personal life, but when it comes to business, I, I'm extremely passionate. I don't stop until I achieve what I want. Um, you know, I, I put my eyes on it and then I, I, I I go on at full force, you know. Um, someone that likes to take care of people, you know, when I see someone that needs help, I don't think twice about helping them, you know, I guess that's just our human nature, but um, I don't, I don't, I don't turn the cheek when I see someone that needs help, you know, so I, I, I do take some, a lot of pride in that, of helping people, and I think that's the reason why that, um, you know, what makes us here so special at the company that we're building at More Homes is because it's based on that, you know, and my, my partner Juan, um, we think very alike when it comes to that, that we want to help as many people as we can, not just our clients and our, our, our business partners, but most importantly, our agents. We want to make sure that our agents are taken care of, that everyone is eating, you know, that everyone's taking care of their families and that they have all the tools that they need to be successful, you know, and I think that comes from the core of who we are as individuals. It's it's, it's 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 a lot of different things all packed in one. But I mean, if I had to really describe it quickly, it would be that I just wanted something much better for myself and for my family. Um, I didn't want to be caught up in that whole nine to five, complaining about my job, working to pay bills, you know, looking forward to the weekend, and then you know, be pissed off that it's Monday again, you know. So I want to build a life that's 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 my life you know freedom you know i want to have time on my on my side to do whatever i want to work with whoever i want to come and go as I, as i want and i understood that for me to have that i need to build something i can't be working for somebody else you know so um at the time i was working for Emporia money in millennium mall and um, i got to meet a lot of entrepreneurs a lot of business people that were already living that lifestyle and they explained that to me and i was like well where can i put my talents that i have in building relationships with people and uh, and a vehicle that's going a lot faster and that's where i decided to go on, on on real estate you know i figured well i could sell a few houses every single month make some good money doing that and then i can really start building something that um could get me there a lot quicker so for someone that's starting to start a business and they're just scared about starting a business well first of all that's natural it's natural to feel scared. I mean, I was scared when we were first starting more homes, but I knew that this is what we needed to do, right? Um, but I will be more scared, not, not trying, right? And wondering what would have happened than trying and then failing at it, you know? Um, so you gotta pick which one you want. You, you wanna be scared, either way you're gonna be scared. So I'd rather be scared trying than being scared and not trying, you know? Um, and then once you do it, I mean, all you got to do is really commit, commit to, 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 to what you got to do, have the discipline. And like I always say, just keep it as simple as possible. Simplify your business. And in one way to simplify it is if you just focus on one relationship a day, that's it. You know, so you might have to talk to 10, 20, 30 people. But if out of those 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, 50 people, you got one relationship out of it. Well, that's a win to me. You know, you got one relationship today and you do that every single day. By the end of the month, you have what, maybe 30 people, 20 people that you've, you build relationships with. And that's how you start to build your business, you know, by just focusing on the basics, knowing that fear is natural, you know, and, um, and just attacking your day with the things that you got to do on a daily basis consistently. That's how you get over the fear. Easy. Uh, yes and I mean yes and no. I mean if if 
you know, that I ever think about that I'll be sitting here at interviewing for my company. I don't think I, I, I consciously thought, a bit, thought about it, but I think subconsciously, um, I think I might have. You know, I think subconscious because I, I'm the type of person that if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it, do it right. I mean, that's just the way I was brought up with my parents, you know. Um, so I, I know that if I'm going to tackle something, I'm going to give it the best that I got, you know. So I think naturally it will put me in that position. So I think subconsciously, yes, I knew I was going to happen. But if I had to say, man, eight years from now, you're going to be building something, building a company. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I would have been that soon. Maybe... Maybe later, but it did happen a lot sooner than I thought. Dreams come true, absolutely. I think I think everyone has the control of however direction they want to go in life. You know, um, so when I wake up in the morning, I, I always tell myself, well, first of all, I'm thankful for waking up again, right? Uh, especially now that I'm 41, I, I, I think about my health a lot now. So I'm always thankful when I wake up in the morning that I got to open my eyes again, look at my beautiful daughters, look at my wife, you know, look at you know what we have and be grateful for that. But then the, th the, the second thing that I tell myself is like, man, like I get another shot today. You know, uh, I, I get to wake up today and, 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 and give it another shot, you know, and I have my hands, I have my eyesight, I have one ear left, um, but I'm still able to go out there and make it happen. So really entire, it's entirely up to me, you know, so what, However I, I end up in this life is based on the decisions that I make, you know. What makes me happy is to be able to spend time with my family and not caring about what time it is, how much does it cost. Um, and I think, I mean, I think right now we're, we're kind of there, you know, really, I mean, I can't go into a and to a, a Rolls Royce dealership and buy a Rolls Royce, not just yet, but you know, we're kind of there now where we can go out and not have to really look at prices. And I, that, to, that to me is fulfilling because I, growing up, I didn't have that. You know, me growing up as a kid, I used to, my parents were the type that, hey, make sure you shut off the lights before you leave your room and make sure you eat, or eat all your food and, you know, don't ask for anything when we go out, you know. So that makes me happy when I'm able to go out with my family and my kids want something and it's like we don't even hesitate. It's like, yeah, sure, you can have it. Of course, as long as they deserve it, of course. I don't want to, you know, we don't have spoiled kids, but they're very privileged. And that makes me happy. I mean, if I had to be honest, it's getting old, man. Knowing that, that we're not here forever, that makes me a little sad. When I look at my girls and to know that one day I'm not going to be there for them, you know, to protect my little girls or my son, that does make me a little sad, you know, so you got to leave them prepared so when I'm not here, they can go ahead and defend themselves. I don't know. That's a very, very good question. I guess not giving up. I just don't give up. You know, I, I, I always look for solutions. You know, I think that's it. I, I love looking for solutions. I always say everything has a solution and, and just focus on that. I, I, I have a very good way of also making things very simple. I try to simplify things as much as I can. Um, that's something that I've developed on my own, where it's like, man, like, if there's a problem, let's look at this very from a, from a very simplistic way, not so complicated. And, and what's the solution? If that's the solution, let's try it. If it didn't work out, well, then we'll find something else. So I'm a problem solver, and I just simplify things, whether it's life or personal. Yeah. Insecurities. I have a lot of insecurities and sometimes I, I, my insecurities do get in the way, you know, um, so that is definitely my biggest uh, weakness. Okay, yeah, we can, biggest weakness. I think, well, there's, there's many different reasons. So I think number one is ego. Ego is a huge one. I think for you to grow in business, you need to be humble. You know, if you come into business with a, with a huge ego, I'm not saying that you don't have to have an ego. Everybody, I have an ego. You know, but you got to keep your ego on check, you know, so I think that's the number one, you know, um, we've seen a lot of agents, I've met a lot of agents, they all, they all know what to say on paper, they look great. So when you meet them at a networking event, they sound great, but then when you put them to the test, they, they have way too much ego. They don't want to take feedback. They don't want to take coaching. They don't like accountability and, um, and then the majority of them now, if you look them up, they, they're either working a nine to five job again, or they're just, I don't know, they're not doing anything, you know? And then the second reason is that you don't have a big enough motivation or, or, or inspiration, right? Because motivational, motivation is temporary, 
right? But when you have a big enough why, I guess, right? Then, then that's really gonna push you. It's gonna push you when you don't have that motivation anymore, you know? And of course, that does play also with discipline, having the discipline to, hey man, you know, today I don't feel like getting up and going to the office, but this is what I need to do. Well, today I don't feel like going out and meeting clients or making, picking up the phone and making phone calls, but that's what I need to do. So when you remind yourself of why you're doing it and then you, you mix that up with discipline and you're humble, then you have the recipe to, to really, really grow, you know. Yeah, so that, I guess that goes back to, to you know, the, the question you asked me, like, what's your biggest virtue? So try to simplify what my day looks like, you know, so um, I, I, I don't, I don't, if, man, if, if, I, if I start to think about all the agents that are in our company and, and all of that, then I'm just going to fill myself with pressure and I'm going to give myself an anxiety attack, <laughs> okay? Um, so that's just focusing on, 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 on the reality, right? But if I just focus on the solutions, well, like, what are the things that I can't control? So having my day planned out, knowing exactly what my day should look like now, not, not always it works out that way, but when I wake up in the morning, I want to look at my calendar and say, okay, these are the appointments that I have for today. Now let me go out there and attack them to the best of my ability, right? But I don't like waking up in the morning and having, not having a clue of what the hell I'm going to do today, right? Because now I'm lost, I have confusion, and really what I start doing is just doing a whole bunch of random stuff and then I don't get anything accomplished, you know, and, and then that starts to starts to hurt your 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 um your confidence right your momentum and if you don't have those two if you don't have the confidence you don't have the momentum then that's when you start seeing a dip into your business you know so being prepared every single morning not worrying about all the agents we have not about not worrying about that we need to get more agents not worrying about what we need to do to grow the business it's just focusing on the things that you you can control the things that are going to get you there consistently every day every day and then the rest it's gonna, it's gonna work itself out, you know? And, and if it doesn't, it's okay, you know? It's all good, it's not the end of the world, you know? For me, success is, it means to be able to sit at a beach, whatever beach I want, whether it's Bora Bora or out in the middle of nowhere with my family, my kids, um, to be able to, to, to do the things that I love with my family and not have a worry about what time it is, how much does it cost, that to me is success. Now that might be different for somebody else, you know, but very being clear what success means to you um, is what's gonna, you know, help you, like, you know, like we said before, keep you pushing forward, you know. What does a successful person look like to me? I think, I think when I meet someone, how do I determine if they're successful? I think it's just the confidence that they have, you know. Now does that mean they're successful? I don't know. Only they know that, you know, but I think if they if they have the confidence, they have the knowledge of what they're talking about and then they can back it up with some results, then that's definitely successful, you know. But I think I mean I'm a big I'm a big believer in energy. So when someone walks into the room and then I can just feel that energy that they just you know, that they're 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 doing something good in life. You know. Maybe their bank accounts might not look like it, you know. But they're doing something good in life and they're in a good place in life and that that that's definitely uh, uh, qualifies as a, I guess, as a, a form of success in, in a way, you know. Do I consider myself successful up to a certain point? Yes. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, if I look back to you know back in my retail days, you know, I thought making sixty-five thousand dollars a year was a lot of money, you know. And today, I'm like, damn, two hundred thousand dollars a year is not it's not a lot of money, you know. Um, so does money make you successful? It depends, you know, um, I don't have the, the amount of money that I want. So yes, I don't think I'm successful. Um, is there is money, everything? I believe it is, you know, um, some people say, well, I, you know, might have said, well, money doesn't buy happiness. Well, neither does broke. No, I don't want to be broke. That does, that definitely doesn't buy happiness. So if I can have some money in the bank and I can help some people out, you know, and I can have some freedom in my life, then yes, that's successful, you know. So I'm successful up to, up, to a, up to a certain point, of course. We're building something very nice and we have, you know, good agents in our company and, we, and the future looks extremely bright. But I have not definitely reached the level of success that I know I can achieve. 
How do I see five to 10 years? Well, definitely more homes being global. Like I want more homes to be global. Like I, we want to have more homes in a little town in Italy, um, more homes in Colombia, more homes in Canada, you know, in Europe, you know, so Asia, I mean, more homes everywhere, you know, and to really look back and, and you know, say and look at Juan and be like, bro, like we really built something that stands for something much more than just real estate. You know, we stand for really, really helping out people, you know, getting people to the next level, whether it's business. And, and even if it's an, you know, agents that maybe they tried real estate, but they learned the basics of building a business and they went off and they started a successful restaurant. Well, that's still a success, right? Because they, they learned the basics in more homes and how to build a business, right? As an agent, how to, how to, how to build a business plan and how to, how to, um, set up your days for success how to play offense versus defense and but you know what real estate wasn't really for me but i really love cooking i'm gonna go apply these same basics but i'm gonna go start a restaurant you know or i'm gonna go start i'm gonna become a dentist open up a open up a practice well if i could just focus on building one relationship a day by the end of the month i got 30 new patients you know so that's where I see our company is where we made an impact in so many people's lives and, 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 and in return, we made ourselves successful, you know, and, and having investments, more investments and, and um, sitting in that beach one day in a big yacht, yes. <laughs> <laughs> more love, absolutely. I think, I think if you approach things with love, then there's no room for hatred. You know, that's why I even have it tattooed on my on my arm. Because even sometimes, you know, like for example, if you're driving on driving in the highway and somebody cuts you off, our natural instinct is to get pissed off. Or if I can just get out of the car and go punch that guy in the face, but that comes from a place of hatred. Right? But if it comes from a place of love, then maybe I might say, you know, maybe maybe that guy has to go to the bathroom. You know, or maybe his wife is given labor. You know, like when my brother, my brother had his kid when we first, when he had his second child, he had to race down the highway. He was probably that guy cutting everybody off, you know, because, you know, his wife, my sister-in-law was having a premature baby and he was, you know, he was he's being a father, you know. But if you, when you approach things with love, then you look at things more and more, and then with, you know, with empathy and you relate more to people, you know. So I think if the world, you know, leaders in the world thought more, with, you know, with love and caring, then we don't have all this wars and all these nonsense that we see every single day, all these parties and, you know, he said this and she said that and, you know, let's let's go after this guy, you know, for what? You know, we're all here to to be successful and to, to really build a life that God gave us and make the best of it, you know, so definitely more love. Red, line. Cali, <laughs> Colombia, Uf, una bandeja paisa. My name is Edison Moreno, broker and owner of More Homes here at More Home Studios. Here's a little story about me. Hope you like it.